Hey there, welcome to 2186 of What Chip to Now. Sharon Hart Elsom here. A couple pieces of content I create every day. One is for this year's annual challenge, the Let's Grow Annual Challenge. And we're talking about and testing out a proposed seven step process. This was on my card here. A seven step process for growing going forward. So every month we can actually practice the process on a different area or aspect of our life. So we're testing it out. We're trying it out in different areas uh, and, and on different things. So, for example, physical health and growth, as well as our financial or career or business growth. And then I did another one with relationships and contribution as the area that the person wanted to grow in. I'm working through some examples of it and trying out the, the seven steps to see if are they in the right order? Do they make sense? Should they be divided into more steps? Should they be combined into less steps? What will work best for us going forward in this year's challenge? That's the question for today. So we're trying it out again on ourselves as well as on, in, in my imagination, other people. How would they work through and use this process? So that is this year's annual challenge. For Supersize Your Business, I am working on figuring out something new. I've done idioms for about the past five years. First 20 days of this year, meaning it ended yesterday, I did the top 20 business strategies that I've experienced and used in my career so far, right? And I, I just brainstorm a list of my top 20 favorite business growth strategies. I call them supersizing strategies and four steps. I broke it down into four main steps. If you do these four steps, you could at least test and tweak and see if it is a strategy that you want to implement in your business. Well, now that I'm done with those top 20, I'm like, okay, what am I going to do now? I don't really want to go back to idioms. Did them for five years. I love words and what things mean and thinking about that because it makes me think about how other people might interpret things that I say or do. And I guarantee people misinterpret what I say and do on many an occasion, which reminds me to speak more clearly and directly and say what I mean clearly, not fuzzily, if that makes sense. So I brainstormed literally hundreds of topics about supersizing and growing and scaling your business or my business or businesses in general. And I got a whole list of them compiled and I decided, okay, again, just like the top strategies, you can have a hundred steps to implementing something or you can have a handful of steps. I don't know about you, but the older I get, the more I've learned, the more I've realized, the more I've seen that the power and the way things work best in our lives is if we can simplify them down to simple, under a handful of, of steps. So today I talked about the power of goal setting for our businesses to supersize them. And instead of talking about all the different things about goal setting, the power of goal setting, we did a whole annual challenge on that last year. We did it every single day, not necessarily just to our business, but in general and in our life and all the different areas of our life. So goal setting and goals is a really big topic. So I said, okay, I asked myself, what are the three biggest benefits to setting goals as a business, setting goals as an organization? And I shared those three things. Uh, and so I think that's what I might do going forward is take each of these topics, just pick the next one, whatever it is that I've, I've gotten on my list and then just say, okay, well, what are the top three benefits of this? Or what are the top three steps to implement this? Or why is this important, et cetera, to supersizing and growing your business? So I'd love some feedback on that. If people think that's a good idea or not, uh, or what they want to see or what they want to hear. I also could do frequently asked questions because I get asked the same questions over and over and over again, right? Working with different businesses in different industries. It's a, interesting how all of our industries are different yet there are commonalities in all of them as well. And if we if we build on the commonalities and set our foundation, guess what? The things that are different are how we can differentiate ourselves and really stand out for the people that we're here to serve. So that's what I'm working on. Super duper tired today. Stayed up late with, the, with two of my granddaughters and they didn't want to go to sleep. Their parents were at an event. And so I was hanging out with them and you can probably see it in my red eyes today. Anyway, I am going to, Maybe take a nap. I don't ever take naps. But I'm thinking a nap might be in my uh, my day's plans. So as part of my resting and recharging on Sundays. I like to rest and recharge on Sundays, get ready for the week ahead. So I will be testing out my strategy because I do my challenges right along with the people that are participating in the challenges. You know, a lot of people will do a challenge once or twice and then they just teach the challenge, but they never actually experience it themselves or do it themselves or practice what they're preaching and teaching themselves. And I make it a habit of 
doing what I say I'm going to do and then actually doing what I'm encouraging other people to do. Because then I figure out the places that we get hung up and that we need to do a little more learning or do a little more practice or find a system or a way or a tool to help us get through it more easily and effectively. I'm all about becoming the best versions of, that we can, possibly can be of ourselves, And that means a continually improving process for everything that we do. Uh, that's it. If I can help you in any way, ask. Otherwise, have an awesome day. And I'll, of course, be with you tomorrow.